Hi class, it's Mrs. Duffield and I'm on location at Liberty Lake and we have some friends with us today. If you notice our friends today, Miss Sasha and Silas came with us and we are hunting for frogs. We found one. Um, we are going to go tadpole hunting so we are taking you with us as we do our little ex um, excursion today. We're going to be looking for tadpoles. So. I want you to um, think about all the different things that you would need to find your tadpole. You have your little net, you have your tweezers, you have um, your little container that I sent home. So you want to put some water in there and um, let's go see if we can find something uh, that we can keep. So we've got Silas and we've got Miss Sasha and they're going to keep the little frog that we found. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. So we're going to be looking for tadpoles and we'll see if we can find some. So we're going to walk down a little bit and we'll see you in just a minute. And when we get down the trail a little bit, we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, class, we have Silas and Miss Sasha. And of course you can hear me talking. I want to show you, this is a perfect spot. You notice we're, we're at Liberty Lake County Park. You can go to Cannon Hill Park. They have ponds there that's up on South Hill. And they also, around Cannon Hill Park, you can find a lot of the water there. This is the perfect kind of water where it's not very deep. And um, I wanna show you this interesting water plant here. So I want you to always, you wanna look and you wanna listen. So what do you hear and what do you see? So we're looking here for, we're gonna get a little bit closer and we'll look in to our water. So when you're doing your tadpole hunting, it may still be early, but we did find a frog, so that tells us that it's possible to do tadpoles right now. So as we're looking here, so Miss Sasha here, she's moving the water, looking to see, is anything moving? Because they swim. We won't see them in the egg stage. The egg stage is hard to find. Sometimes you can find little egg sacs, but she's looking here, she's kind of moving water around and looking so that she can, because they swim. Remember when they're in the tadpole stage, they look like tiny fish and they kind of swim. They like to hide underneath the brush because it's safe. So Miss Sasha says they like to hide under the brush because they think it's safe and it's a good place where, you know, bigger animals won't come and eat them. We're not going to eat them, so they're safe from us, but they don't know that. You want to fry some frog legs? <laughs> not today. So this is a good spot. Now, one of the things you always have to have is an adult. Never go to water. Never go outside and play in water without an adult there with you. Always let your mom and dad know where you are and never go without an adult. So this activity needs to be done with mom and dad. So. I just want to let you know, there I am, <laughs> I'm so excited about your adventure this week. We're going to be talking about tadpoles, talking about the life cycle of a frog, and we'll do a lot of that over the next couple of weeks. So this will be fun and exciting. So uh, this is Mrs. Duffield uh, saying goodbye for now, and we'll see you later. Okay, we're going to walk you down. And one last look. Silas, turn around, buddy. Say goodbye to the class. <laughs> and Miss Sasha. Bye. These are my trusty uh, assistants for our frog hunting expedition. Okay, one more time. Bye, guys. Okay, class. I'm joining you again back at the classroom. And I hope you had a lot of fun with me out on location at Liberty Lake. We're going to talk a little bit about the other things that you have to do when you're catching your tadpole. So let's go ahead and on our book... This book, you've got this, and then you've got the paper that says, My Frog Observations. So we'll put that just off to the side. Keep my little froggy right there. So this one says, Catching Tadpoles. And this is fun. She's got some tadpoles in her bucket. He's got a bucket and a net. I'll put my name on it. So this little reader, we're going to read together. And then I want you to go ahead and pick one page to do your very best coloring. Just one. Okay, here we go. My friend and I 
are going to look for tadpoles today. We have nets and buckets that we will use to catch the tadpoles. I'd like you reading along with me. Please put your fingers on the words and read along with me. We will hike down to the pond to find our tadpoles. We will use our nets to scoop up the tadpoles. We will put our tadpoles in our buckets and take them home. Okay, that's our little catching tadpoles reader. I want you to practice reading this. Also, this kind of tells you what we were doing out um, in the pond and in the water looking for our tadpoles. Of course, we're going to learn a lot about the life cycle of a frog. And they come in eggs, then they have a... Um, tadpole and then the tadpole gets legs so it can swim um, and then it turns into a little froglet and then into a frog so we're gonna do that over the next couple of days and if you catch tadpoles you'll need to feed them either cooked spinach um, your moms and dads can look on the internet and find out how do you care for tadpoles and I can talk a little bit about it in our zoom meetings so the next thing that you're gonna do with our catching tadpoles activities let's just say you can't go out and catch tadpoles. So you have mom or dad look up a video on l the life cycle of a frog. And I'm gonna try to do that at Zoom as well and show you the life cycle. So this is called My Frog Observations. So you're gonna draw pictures about what do I see, what do I hear, and what do I feel. So we're gonna use three of our, our six senses, or five senses rather. So, um, Mothers have six senses, so I always think of that. So, I see is with my eyes. I hear is what do I hear with my ears. I feel, what am I touching with my hands? What does it feel like? And then you'll just draw pictures, and there's two places for you to do different observations. And if you found some tadpoles, I want you to kind of write about those. So this is kind of my frog observations, and this is a little bit more detail. The date you went out, so if it was yesterday, um, well, let's just say it was today. So remember, we did 5 for May, 5, 4, 20. So that's our Monday date, 5, 4, 20. Today I'm observing a, did we find a tadpole? A tadpole with legs, a tadpole with arms, a froglet, or a frog. So I want you to mark that. Frog or toad, and there's a difference between that. Your mom might have to, or dad might have to help you then can you figure out by looking online what kind of frog or toad? Then the other thing is, where are you? We were at um, Liberty Lake County Park. So that's where I was with Miss Sasha and Silas. Okay, We didn't measure the frog that we caught, but we did catch a frog. Um, and we didn't measure the height or the width, but that's something that you could do there. You just need a little measuring. And if you use non-standard measuring, you could measure it using a paper clip. How many paper clips is it? How many, and just make a mark to let you know what you use to measure. Then draw a picture of what you have found or what you observed. And then tell me a little bit about it. Just a quick little sentence. Um, and it could be, I saw a frog, or I did not see a frog. If you didn't catch one, then you're doing one maybe online. So this is going to take a little bit of help because you'll be out and about. If you have a clipboard, when you go do your observations um, and go tadpoling, you can put this on a clipboard and fill it out when you're out on location. I hope you have lots of fun with this. This is me and Ribbit saying goodbye. And we'll see you from, for some more of our fun, really fun activities. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye class.